Hey guys, today I wanted to kind of do a two-in-one video on how to brush your bunny properly slash a review on the hair buster. I know I made a similar video on this a couple years back, but I really wanted to make an updated version because my methods have changed a little bit and I also just started using the hair buster, which is a really important grooming tool that all bunny parents should have. This is not a sponsored video and I did buy the hair buster with my own money, by the way. Now, for the past three years, I basically had been using my little flea comb, which I kind of hacked into looking like a hair buster, and it's been working super great, but I have to say the hair buster being much larger and better built really helps get tons of more fur out in a quicker time. This is really the only comb that helps grip bunny fur, which is for the most part pretty thin and silky. It's not like dog or cat fur, so I really urge you to stay away from tools made for those animals. And before before we get started, I really just want to emphasize how important brushing is because as you know, rabbits groom themselves and wind up ingesting their own fur. So if your bunny ever goes into GI stasis, a well-brushed bunny has a much better chance of recovering from stasis than a bunny who has intestinal blockage. Okay, so in terms of location, you'll probably avoid lots of sneezing and a big mess if ideally you have a little backyard, patio, or balcony to do this in. Now, of course, if you do go outdoors, please use the utmost caution and use a little X-Pen so your bunny doesn't run off. However, if you live in an apartment like me, you're probably stuck doing this indoors. So what I like to do is make sure I'm wearing clothing that doesn't attract fur or lint and I also like to have a trash can nearby. Now, I know most bunnies hate being brushed and won't sit still for their brushings even if you paid them. That's because they don't like being handled. So one method to get your bunny to sit still is to not handle them at all. Start off just petting them and then using the comb to glide through their fur gently. They'll think you're simply caressing them and have no idea you're really brushing them. Rabbit skin is extremely thin so you don't want to be overly aggressive anyway. The only thing you want to be cautious of with this comb is that the teeth are a little bit pokey, so you always want to make sure you're brushing in the direction of the fur growth, never against it. Now, you want to hold the head down gently and pull to get that molting fur out, kind of the same way you'd try to detangle knots in a person's hair. As you can see, I'm just running the comb through her fur, and if your rabbit is molting, you'll notice the comb kind of getting wedged in the fur. If your rabbit isn't molting, your comb is just gonna slide right through because there's nothing to pick up. You can really see the amount of fur that gets trapped in this hair buster here. Now, for those of you with bunnies who are really squirmish, I like to grab a high bar stool to sit on because most bunnies aren't comfortable jumping from a height or a location that they are not familiar with. Once they're on your lap, you're gonna have a lot more control, especially when getting those hard to reach places like the belly. The most problematic area for bunnies is usually their back ends, which they have trouble reaching themselves. So you'll often notice a lot of loose fur accumulating back there that you can even pluck right out. So for the bum and the tail, make sure you're using a nice little scooping motion to really grip that fur. So again, I'm just doing the plucking in addition to the brushing to get a better overall result. I'll be honest, I still like using my little flea comb for smaller areas like the face and forehead, and just again, tricking Lennon into thinking she's getting pampered with a massage. It just really makes her more at ease with the brushing. 
know, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they brush everything except the paws and the face because they're really small areas, but you'd really be surprised just how much they shed from those areas as well. As you can see, the fur is really wedged into the comb and once you pull it all out, it's really a lot more than you think. A good brushing session should last about 45 minutes to an hour during molting season and be done about every six to eight weeks. However, this can also entirely depend on the breed and length of hair. Some folks would rather just do a few minutes every day, but that's kind of a pain and it's kind of hard to be diligent with that. So that's why I really recommend doing a long and good grooming session instead. I'm gonna link a few places below where you can buy the hair buster. If you're still unable to do this on your own, your local rabbit rescue might also offer grooming services and nail clipping services, so check in with them. All right guys, we have lots of fun surprises coming up. I'm so excited. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Thank you.